we're now going to have a look at how Microsoft Word hyphenates text in a document. As you will know that when you are typing in a document, what Word tries to do is as you get near to the, the margin area, the edge of the page, as you type it decides whether it can fit the word into this area before the margin or not. If it can, it puts the word there. For example, two puts the word there because it can fit in the margin. If it can't, it jumps the word round onto the next line. This is called text wrapping. What can happen though is that you can end up with quite a jagged line depending on the length of the words. If you have some quite long words, then there'll be a big gap at the right hand margin. This can be quite tricky to show. So what I've done is set up some text for you to show you how it works, but put it into columns because it's easier to see in columns. Don't worry about it being in columns. Hyphenation isn't about working with columns. There will be another video to show you how to set those up. But as you can see in this left hand column, imagine the margin is coming down here where my cursor is going now. And there's a smallish gap, no gap at all, a bigger gap, not much of a gap, a bigger gap. It's quite a jagged edge to the text. And that's because here, after the word A, word decides, can it fit the word beautiful on this line? If it can, it puts it. If it can't, it jumps down to the next line. But as you can see, it can leave those big gaps. So what we can do is try to mitigate that, try to reduce the effect of that by adding in hyphenation. The default is that hyphenation is switched off, and that's why you can see this effect here. To switch hyphenation on, we select Tools, drop down to Language, and come across to Hyphenation. When we click there, we get the Hyphenation dialog box and a tick box to either switch on automatic hyphenation or to switch off automatic hyphenation. It's just a toggle switch on, off, on, off. I'm going to switch it on to see what that does to our document. We then click on OK. Hopefully what you can see is we've still got a bit of a jagged edge, but it's not as jagged as it was. If I undo that, you'll be able to, and then redo, you'll be able to see the difference. No hyphenation, quite jagged here. Hyphenation, less jaggedness. But why? Well, let's have a look at the word heritage. A longish word that cannot fit in this gap. So a word has put a dash in the middle of the word. Heri dash titch. In order to split that word over two lines. That is hyphenation. We can see the same effect here. Landscape. Land dash scape. It's hyphenated, put a hyphen in between the word so that it can fit more of the word onto that one line. So to do that, we selected tools, language, hyphenation. And we can switch it on and off with this tick box. If you want to get really clever, you can alter the distance between the text and the margin that hyphenation will take an effect on. 